But also, my last and the main point that I wanted to to really stress is that you really need to ask yourself, are you really ready to be natural? And what I mean by that is that a lot of times people get wrapped up on, oh, when I get my locks, oh, I got to see my parts and I don't want no no BDBs. I don't I don't want these stringlies hanging out like here does I have stringlies. They don't want fat. They have to make sure these parts are crisp and you have to really ask yourself, are you really ready to be natural? Because being natural, you gonna have to let them spirit fingers go. You can't be dipping and dabbing in your hair all the time. Because if you keep twisting your hair, you have to realize, just like it, like how you was relaxing your hair, if you keep messing with your hair, your hair is going to result in falling out. And the same applies to um, you having um, locks. You have to let your hair do its own thing. And my mom started her locks uh, two and a half years ago. And that's something that I'm still trying to instill in her because she likes the tightness and she likes the, the the to be able to see her parts and i'm telling her i was like mom that's all and good but you have to understand that this is these are not braids these, this is your hair this is not oh i can tighten this up and keep tightening this up and keep tightening this up leave your hair alone so i understand a lot of people like the manicured look but really ask yourself what if you can't find a stylist? What what if you move and or you know it's just different circumstances? What if you lose your job and you can't afford to go get your hair done? Are you prepared? Are you ready to dip and dab in your own hair or leave your hair alone? I really think about it, and that's that's something else that you need to take into consideration. And um, fortunately, my first year of doing my hair was on my own after the first stylist did my hair. I didn't like it. And I said, I'm going to sit here and learn on my own. I didn't even do YouTube. I, I didn't even watch YouTube videos. I just sat at home and twisted and I maintained my hair every two weeks, washed it. I did, um, I had a girlfriend that was at work that told me about some, um, some shampoo conditioners. And then I went on from there. And now, this what you see? I did this on my own. Yep, on my own. I was going to a stylist for the past mm, two years. And I, you know, this past year I realized, it, but last year even started, I realized I was having too much money invested into my natural hair. And, um, but really, you know, me not working and I'm going to school currently, I, I can't afford that. So, that sometimes I'm paying fifty to sixty five dollars every time I'm getting my hair done. You know that a hundred to one hundred twenty five dollars, or even give me a hundred thirty dollars a month can add up, and I can use that towards something else, which I I have been. So I'm starting to see, and I have more patience with my hair. I can get frustrated. This style took me a while to get up, but. I'm glad I did it because I did it on my own and people compliment me on my hair you know I do different styles so but I just wanted to bring that to your attention you know for those people that are pulling themselves in opposite directions but if you want to be natural you could be natural and just your hair is natural doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change anything else about yourself it's just you have to remember this is a mind over matter thing you have to not mind what people matter so just something um food for thought for you to think about um i guess i can show you my style so this is it hope you guys can see it we'll go to the other side so. <sighs> it's not the best but hey it's me but anyway, uh, please comment, subscribe, or leave a message, whatever you feel like. Peace and blessings.